so uh, we discussed about the first uh, connecting with the outlook so first uh, start the outlook so so i want to send the mail via outlook but uh, on the mail body i want to paste the our uh, data on the mail body mm -hmm. and send the mail via excel okay. mm -hmm. so first create the one sample data uh, So this is the my report, and I have every time after cut the report, uh, copy the report report area, go to yeah. the Outlook, and create the new mail, and paste on the mail body, and enter the name and uh, two C C C subject everything and send, right? Yeah. So yeah. I want to the do this type of the work through the Excel. So, how can let's start? Developer Visual Basic insert module and enter your subject send mail underscore one bracket open close. Uh, first assign the dim r as a range and set r equal to range. And your selection dot address. So we have uh, we have assigned uh, we have created the selection one, dot address. Uh, we have created the we have created the one uh, range object and assign the range object from the selected area. If, if uh, which area will be selected, uh, then we have sent the on, on the mail body. Right. Okay. If you want to fix the uh, fix the area, like I want to fix the A one to J fifteen. So we have enter here also J one to A one to J fifteen here. But uh, we have to. But we need to like select current region, right? Uh, no, because uh, because we have the uh, some object. If we use the current region to select only for the your. Oh. Data. Okay. So we have uh, select the manual. Oh, okay. Because earlier you taught me selection, but you taught me how to select current region. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we have the one code just like uh, active work book dot enable envelope uh, envelope visual right right envelope visual equal to true. This code <coughs> open the Outlook in the Excel worksheet. When the run okay. this one, when we run this code. Can see here, your Outlook will be Outlook new Outlook mail will be open in the Excel. Mm. See here, to CC subject introductions attachment everything here and send this selection. Okay. Okay. So uh, we, this code and uh, I have uh, removed these features. Then need to select send and also enter here false and run. Then remove, right? So we have entered here all uh, again true, and with enter the code with R. R is your selected area. Mm -hmm. Dot parents. Dot mail envelope. dot item okay and enter here to equal to enter your any mail type dot cc 
you have uh, enter yes you have not entered keep the blank dot pcc if you want to enter otherwise keep the blank or subject equal to test and in the last enter uh, if you have attachment so enter the attach events dot add and enter here the path but we have no attachment so we have no, no need to enter this but we have mentioned the code and yeah. and, and the last click on the send and okay and your bit right so mm -hmm. fi finally my code is the ready so we have triggered this macro select the your area and run this macro and uh, we have uh, not enable don't enable macro in the uh, outlook so ask the allow and then right and mm -hmm. see, here, see here my email id is wrong okay there's no india okay. sorry there's no dot com yes dot com yeah. okay hmm you understand yeah so if, if this code is this code is if you if you want to send the mail your your work select, selected worksheet on the mail body the share see the mark select yeah. once again my mom is calling okay Uh, sorry, we <clears throat> start. So again, yeah. uh, and again, uh, and uh, we have also uh, next uh, 
your example with outlet this is this is the this is the front end example you have send the mail on the front end and next is the back end back end how can send the mail as a back end so okay have uh, mail uh, we have title is the mail the whole workbook okay okay so we have entered the code subject send m underscore one bracket open and close and uh, we have created the two exam uh, two uh, o as a object two object and dim m as a also object. So we have created two objects. First object for the Outlook applications, and second object is the create the new mail. Okay. And we have enter here set o equal to create object, and we have enter here Outlook dot application. Right. Okay. Also set m equal to create object. No, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Not m. M equal to o dot create item. Item and item number. Mm -hmm. So we have open uh, this this code. We have open the your. Outlook applications in the backend of the BBA, okay. and this code you create the new mail backend of the BBA applications. Understand? Uh, hold on. The O is what? Create o, the object. Ha! Huh, create the create the object. Uh, create object Outlook applications. So that is so, like opening for Outlook. Opening Outlook, right? And, and what is the in the in the in the o in the o create the new item it means new creating mail oh, oh okay 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 mm, okay got it it's like we mm. open, open and create and why why we enter the zero because in the new section we have the also other examples like email messages appointment meeting contract so index number will be zero index number will be create the new mail okay mm. Right? Yeah. Okay. And we have entered the with m dot two. Enter your email address. Kumar at the rate ipt. Uh, sorry, at the rate no, at the rate ipt india dot com dot cc. Equal to, we have enter dot bcc dot bcc. I have also enter and dot subject subject enter here test and dot body. So we have entered here, uh, hi, and vv new line, and please find the attachments in mail. And also, and our interior thanks and regard regards, uh, but the uh, interior VV new line. Okay, and interior VV new line. And and percent <coughs> your name just like Sujit Kumar. So why entering the VV new line in this in, in this mail body? 
Yeah, it goes to the next line. Yeah, right. So break the next line because if you if I write here, why? It's a thanks and regard. Okay, okay. Expected and statement. Some missing here. Yeah. Right. So first, first you uh, first you are high. Break the line with BV new line, and enter the file file attachment in the main. Or next, break your line. Thanks, dear. Next, break your line, and so the the complete complete format. And after that, we have the uh, one to the attachment, right? So we have yeah. here. I I want to send. I want to send our active workbook. This workbook with attachment. Yeah. So how can I send? <coughs> so first, I first save my. Okay, and in the course, right here, attachment. Attachments. Dot add. Write your active work book. Dot full name. The complete path. Full name. It means your uh, file. Complete file path. Oh, okay. And, and if if you have any other attachment, just like if you do want to send the two and three and four file in this uh, mail. So you can also yeah. repeat your attachment codes. Same like dot attachments uh -huh. dot okay. Okay, <clears throat> and and the last in the last enter here send. Send code will be in the last. Remember. Okay. Yeah. If you if you send code will be in the middle of this code then. Yeah, you, yeah, I get it. <laughs> below of the your send. Um, fine, you get the error and not attached. And the last and bit and some one code also enter here. Is set o equal to nothing. Why? Why? We have clear the o object. Set m equal to nothing. Right. Okay. This is not required, but you have if you have uh, enter the code, then your system will be run fast because your memory will be clean. Okay. Right. <clears throat> then run this code. So if you don't uh, do that, O is equal to nothing, M is equal to nothing. Then uh, how long does it take? Like what's what's the difference? What's the time frame difference for if you if you put the code and if you don't put that code? <laughs> time time difference. Calculate that you have enter you have got a um, big uh, out big your um, coding platform and we you have opened the more than. Uh, 10 20 50 files then uh, okay. analyze but is now is nothing because the time difference will be very small so you can can't so like even if you put that o is equal to nothing m is equal to nothing it's still all right mm -hmm. this is a not required not necessary but you have put over some benefits it's like best practice oh uh -huh, right like, You can understand this code. Yeah. Any doubts? No. Wait. Wait for next example. And next example is I want to send uh, a mail as attachment, but only only for one sheet. Okay. Okay. We have we have a first first send the one selected range, but. On the mail body, we have sent the 
whole file as attachment whole active file as attachment okay okay so mm -hmm. i want to send the mail only for one seat only for yeah. one okay yeah hello one second One one thing or uh, one thing we have we have entered here uh, create create uh, declare the object or also create your object right yeah but if you have in the tools on the reference and this is the out you have click the Outlook object library oh uh, sorry say again I didn't follow oh okay. In the tools, if you if if you in on the go to the tools menu bar, click on the refresh, yeah. yeah. and search the Microsoft Outlook object library. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Microsoft object library. And click OK. After that, you have that you have uh, direct declare dim O as a Outlook dot application. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. This is what I see in my um, office, like my office codes. This is how I see it. They uh, they directly use it as. And also dim M as a Outlook dot create item let me say uh, o o dot why not I come in the o dot oh, sorry sorry so it's not a scene and dim m as a outlook dot mail item or a mail item right so no need to set yeah but this uh, this file learn only for which system have a click on the call to refrain on the reference object office li object library if you send to another pc and you can also open this file in the another pc a this pc ha not have select call to the object like outlook library that time got a uh, errors so we have practiced to use this this way because this way run to every pc if you have not select not call to the outlook uh, uh, library Okay. So this is the this feature. This uh, um, way is the perfect way because we you can uh, run and open anywhere any uh, applic any applications. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Go to the next topic. So I want to mail to the active seat. Mail to the active seat. Okay. Active seat as attachment. Right. Mm. Mm. I want to mail to the active seat as a attachment. So uh, clear the macro here. Sub send m underscore three by here. Open and close. And define dim o as a the same like that we are the open creating and that is copy what we have need to 
this attachment, right? Uh, okay, why? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, we have created the one attachment. We have to also be through mm -hmm. simple way, but we have created that uh, with uh, one uh, file as a workbook and source and destination. Simple. This is simple way. Uh, so. We see that we have want to uh, give the attachment. We have enter a sheet like one one dot copy, right? And okay. active work book dot save as in the one path. But tell me something, say you want to uh, copy this one sheet and you want to make changes to the sheet and then you want to send it in an email. Can we do that? Okay, you could change. Like say, uh, can you go to the sheet that you, you want to send as an email? Wait, wait, wait. Active sheet dot name dot Excel service. Ah, the for just 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 listen that if we have create the copy. Yeah. That time your sheet. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this sheet to right click move and copy and select yeah. a new workbook and create copy yeah, create copy up now your seat will be open yeah. and you want to just 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 like i want to uh, i want to uh, insert the one line here and yeah. enter the subtitle so you can also change here because now is your uh, your active workbook your active work mm -hmm. is now is open. So we have entered here uh, range a one dot current re current region dot current region dot no, not one not the uh, sorry sorry dot entire row entire row dot insert right and range uh -huh. a one a one dot value equal to daily sales report and range a um, uh, we have entered some formatting with range a one dot font and dot bold equal to true dot size equal to 15 and dot and and build right and now we have created the active work save the active workbook and enter here active work book dot book dot close and true mm, okay right and you have select here and enter yeah. the path here. right understand okay. The first we have extract your sheets and enter here. Yes. 
and place to milk. You can run this this file and just like just like I just check run and check. Uh, right, so it's, it's yeah. seat one. Yeah. And I want to send the. Yeah, it's got the change as well. And now I want to. Yeah, this. I want to send the more than one sheet. We have we have the three sheets. I want to send the we have the in the in the file we have the five sheet, but I want to send only for three three sheets. One, two, and three. Got it? Yeah. If you have if you have uh, reports uh, ten reports of the data of uh, your file in the report file, but uh, uh, one person I want to say, you want to say only for three reports and two reports and five reports. So. Yeah. Uh, we have the two two way. First, one by one we have create one by one uh, we have create one by one we have create uh, right one by one we have create create the new uh, the different different yeah. file for the different different sheets. But yeah. I want to every sheet in the one one sheet. Okay. okay. So yeah, we have and we have select here, uh, just like uh, sheets. Uh, right here, we have a mentioning a code. We have enter here sheets and enter here array and here uh, sorry array and which sheet you want to send. Name will be enter here. Seats one. Sorry. Sheet two and sheet three. And copy. Right? Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay. But problem is that he, uh, if you have uh, more and more sheets, like 20, 30, uh, 20, uh, 100 sheets, I do want to send the 50, first 50 sheets. That time you got a problem entering the name. That time you have yeah. used the loop and uh, yeah. name in, in this she form, died. you can enter here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, uh, send the mail as a range selections, you want to select a particular range. You want to send the mail. So we have the two way. First, we uh, send the uh, copy and paste to mail mail wordy, just like in the first example. Yeah. But you want to send as attachments, then you need to copy to new, uh, new uh, create the new file and paste and save and then send. Right. Okay. Okay. Up, uh, we have uh, uh, just like we have the uh, send the one file to multiple one mail and one file, yeah, one. Uh, particular uh, message to every person yeah in the we have uh, we, we data have the in the 
just like with this this report this report file this workbook file i want to yeah. send, send to uh, 5 and 10 and 20 uh, persons and mail id will be entered in the my this address just like we have we have copied the same name but we have also we have also the more than 100 200 data and, and i want to send the every persons to uh, mail individually mail yeah so let's just create the mail and rr uh, send in underscore underscore four and dim not require the dim so first uh, uh, four i equal to one two range a sixty five thousand dot and xls up dot row right yeah one second a bit Right, and yeah. we have, we have, you have remember if any mm -hmm. deletion of any type of the data and object out of the loop, a loop, not in the loop. Uh, yes, correct. They, uh, some some persons create the loop in. <laughs> okay. We have create here. Yeah. And but uh, this right this and this and mail ID here range a with i dot value right. And I want to uh, subject uh, test. I want to hire, not not a hire, dear with her name or yeah, anything. You can enter here. If uh, we have, if you want to, uh, we have name in the uh, third row, just like Pooja. I want to dear Pooja, dear Neeraj in the mail body. That time, yeah. that time enter here, uh, enter here, hi, hi. Dear and with concatenate, we have enter here. Give the space here with concatenate, enter, enter here. Range B and I dot value. Right? Okay. It's clear? Yeah. So, if and uh, here is the active sheet dot no name like right, right. Active sheet dot name. No, no, no. We are enter file. We give you any particular file. Enter your your attachment. And you want to give you but uh, uh, every uh, different file to different persons because the, yes. for example, if we have uh, different different name uh, file name. In the one drive with different different persons, just like uh, Puja have a name of the Puja file in the D drive. So that mm -hmm. time you can put here code, just like ramj one dot value and dot x. Okay. Yeah. Right. So every person sent to the 
another uh, single single sheets uh, uh, single single file to every person different different files sent to the different different persons if yes, you correct. store the all file in the this locations but now we have uh, sent to the one file to the different persons so this uh, this example will be clear yeah okay but <clears throat> Can you show me how to connect it to SQL? Yeah, just wait. Uh, just finish the Outlook topic. Some topic. Yeah, yeah. Just like I want to the I want to the mail as uh, mail. Hmm. One sheet as a PDF. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's something that. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to one convert one of the sheets in the mail to a PDF. Uh, right? I want I want to send the mail, uh, but uh, mail attachment attached file, just like as a PDF. Right. Okay. So, so first first thing. We, uh, So, uh, code will be same. Code will be uh, code will be same, just like uh, above. It's like uh, yeah, this code. All right, copy this code. Uh, do you know how, what is the code for uh, save uh, file save as a PDF? Uh. No, I thought when you save it, you save it as a .pdf. No, no. So for if you have forget how can send the mail via PDF, mm -hmm. simple, simple uh, record your macro. Right. Re record your micro, right? Mm -hmm. And go to the file, export. Yeah. Also do the save as as a PDF in the different locations, just like and save. Okay. The PDF will be open and stop your record macro and go to the visual basic module to and see the code. This is the code yeah. for the save your macro. PDF. Save as a PDF. PDF. Active sheet, export, fixed format, type, Excel PDF. Mm. File name and, and our things. Just like uh, yeah, this is the open after publish. Uh, after the save, your file will be open. Give it false. Yeah. No need to open the file, right? Doc properties, ignore print area, everything. So copy this code. Mm. And. Paste the, your micro. Yeah. <coughs> and copy this path and paste the this attached area. So your file will be saved as a PDF. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay, now we I uh, I have uh, show you okay, how can uh, send uh, how can send your uh, file via Outlook, but problem is that okay, every person don't use the Outlook. Some person use the Gmail, the Outlook, okay. Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, like of this mail. Okay. 
yeah. that time how can send the mail via your gmail accounts if without mm -hmm. uh, without outlook so i want okay. in the i have no outlook installations and connecting connecting but i want to send the mail and we have the gmail id we have the yahoo id yeah we have the pop3 mail id okay <laughs> i want to say it uh, i want to send the mail so yeah. that time we have created the uh, uh, as a <coughs> cdo connectivity so first need to go to the tools menu bar and reference mm -hmm. and find the cdo object library cdo what did you say yeah is the microsoft cdo windows 2000 library okay okay and uh, one second one second ma'am i stop the uh, sharing because copy the code from the uh, another file and in the file we have, uh, have a my gmail okay, password okay. wait let's just open the file Okay, see now. So we have some line, uh, some uh, prepare code. So first check the. Yeah. So first create the I message as object, and here is the configuration as object. So so we have two create uh, two object we have create here. Just I I M C as an object. I deem I configure as an object, right? Yeah. And we have uh, we have set the I I uh, I message as the CDO message, and mm. I config uh, I configure the configuration because okay. we have first configuration. This just like you have uh, one to the send the mail via Outlook. The first need to uh, configuration in the your mail in the your Outlook, right? Yeah. Enter the mail yes. and password password. everything right yeah so this is the configurations or this is the message so first config configurations a i config dot load the minus one is the index number and uh, what what is what is that minus one what what is the index number for in the index number index number for uh, field config fields this is the fixed format i i have copied to the microsoft side Oh, okay. 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 And this is the your uh, fields item dot http, and this is the fixed li link, right? Mm hmm. And your also fixed link is it under under true, and this is the username. Enter uh, enter your your email ID, and mm. enter your your email password, and this is the mm. SMTP mail sending server. Okay. But 
and if you have another uh, mail list like just like your company id also the pop3 id so in the outlook you have entered the smtp smtp mail address you can also enter this is not for only for gmail every pop3 mail mail you can send here if you uh, any mail configured in uh, which mail configured in the outlook also send, uh, configured on this cdo connectivity okay so if you want to send the uh, send it to a hotmail you have to send it from gmail you have to change it from gmail to hotmail yeah right but uh, smtp smtp server is required you can check the and research the smtp servers different different um, mail provider have a different different S smtp uh, server so find and enter here okay and sending using port number 2 and port number 24 25 and okay. so this is the we have configure your we configure our mail mail email id in the cdo configurations and after that this is the message with imc dot com so for a uh, first set dot configurations i config i config it means this configuration we have configured here so we yeah. have all two configuration here then two Enter the email ID to cc to the bcc dot from dot subject dot text body and dot after that if you if you have attachment dot here uh, enter the dot attachment dot ads and enter the attachment just like uh, your uh, outlook after that then send and uh, dot send equal to send this code is the I have I have sent this code. For the only member because this link every time not we have remember, so mm -hmm. we have uh, save to uh, on file and copy to paste. So I will send you first apply apply the same same persons and uh, same way. If you have got any problem, then call me. I have support you. So okay. your mail connectivity will be finished, right? Okay. Now yeah. we have request to uh, connectivity with your. SQL server. Yeah. Okay. So we have a next example is the how can connect your SQL. Server. So uh, So now we discussed about the connecting. Yeah, your voice, your voice is not. Your voice is echoing. Hello, coming. Hello. Hello. It's Hello. echoing. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's, now it's fine. Okay. So we have. <coughs> uh, I want to connect your uh, our Excel to SQL. So first we do have you have the SQL server, yeah, SQL mm -hmm. client server. Okay. Right. So I in the PC I have the local host for the SQL server and have the database in in the database I have the one sheets I want to the copy of uh, uh, import data from the SQL server in bit okay. bit. So create the subject here subject SQL underscore one like open close like. So we have first create the connection. Dim cn as a object and second dm record set as a object. Right. Yeah. And after the connectivity, we need to 
uh, references and need to uh, call the library ad uh, ad o ad o d v No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, right. Microsoft Active uh, um, Active X Data Object two point eight. Right. What is this one? Microsoft Active X oh, Data okay. Object two point eight library. We have need to the call. After that, we have uh, set here set C N equal to. Oh uh, no! Sorry. Uh, no, 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 some mistake here. All right, object as a ADODV, right? Dot what is connection? If you no, just just remember, if you want to connect okay. your Outlook applic Outlook server with Excel, so we have go through the ADODV uh, service provider. Okay. Object. So in AD, uh, AD or DV, just like our, we have uh, above, our, we have this uh, call to Outlook. Then we have go to yeah, the yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. References and select out to object library. Then o, o D, uh, AD O D O AD AD O D V. That that called the AD O D V, right? Okay. D, database AD O D V, and AD O D V you have the active x micro uh, active x data 2.8 library okay right and we have the create cn it means connections as a ad adio dv dot connections mm -hmm. and now rs rs is record set adio dv dot record set so first, first is the first is the your connect your SQL and second is the copy your data on the record set. Okay. So first set new a d v dot connection uh, set equal to set c n. Right, and also set RS equal to new ADO dot record set. What is record set? Record set it in the uh, collect, collect the records from the SQL. In the SQL, have, have, have in the SQL have a lot of data, data connected data. It's like one you want to select the entire table. With SQL okay. query, that time your data save on the record set and copy from the record set on the Excel sheet. Okay. So CN dot open first. Connect your connection. Open CN open, and after the open, we have enter here the sum driver. Just like some element, just like driver hmm. on driver. Equal in the curly bracket, you have entered the SQL server, right? Close the curly bracket and semicolon for the next. But the server name, we have entered server equal to my server name is the IPT slash IPT, right? Here. Okay. Okay. So we have entered the uh, no, not in the inverted comma. Huh? Server IPT slash put the semicolon to next. Which database in this your server have the many database? So which database? So we have entered the database. Database 
equal my database name in the S data. Right? Okay. And, uh, and if you have the client server, Hmm? If if you have the client server, just like uh, uh, need to the, uh, the, the yeah the, see here if our data have the not a client server, the local host, so no need to the username and password. Log into the login from the window authentications. So we have okay. not entered any user and password, but you have the client server need to the enter the. Uh, here, just like UID equal to your username slash semicolon. If you have the password, PA pass equal to have entered the your password. In your password, the PWD, PWD prefix and equal to your password. Right. But you don't have a, you don't have a password, right, for your SQL. Uh, uh, MySQL have a local host. This is local host. Local host, the local host, it means our SQL server is installed in the same PC. Yeah. And work from the same PC. No have the network network facility. So we have uh, login notifications. Okay. But um, our window, our SQL server install on the one server and different PC will be connected with server and uh, use the SQL. That time, um, uh, our, our PC not a local host, our PC is the install in the server and need to the, mm -hmm. every, uh, every PC need to the username, different username and different password. Okay. But uh, here is a note, so we have deleted this code. Right. Yeah. So we have enter here and this, we have the open the SQL server, right? Mm -hmm. And now we have, uh, we have extract the data. So if you have extract the data uh, from the record set, with record set, with SQL queries. So we, you have uh, understanding of the SQL query, just like we have enter the select, yeah. start from table, underscore one, the name is the table underscore one. We have remember, if you not remember, check there. And comma, your connection name, just like my connection name, the CN, and your connection type. If you want to the connection, just like, uh, we want to connections, just like, just like copy your data, then open the statics. If you want to uh, send the data, open the dynamic. Static is for what? Copy the data. Uh, static to copy the data, import the data, and if you want to export the data in the SQL, that time use the static. So say if you want to write a query, like an insert query. If you write an insert query, insert. then you have to write dynamic. Yeah, right, right. And this is a select, so you put uh, right. static? Yeah, statics. No, 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 dynamic. What? But you put static here. But we have the select query enter here, not an insert key. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what. For select, you had to write static. For uh, insert and update, you had to write dynamic. Is that what you say? Yeah, right. You have if you have uh, select queue, use the select query, then use the statics. You have the insert query, use the dynamic. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, enter here. Your your all data copy on the RS. So we have need to. Uh, uh, copy your RS from the, your Excel worksheet. Yeah. Just like we have the one worksheet here, sheet three. Right? So mm -hmm. we have entered here. And we give the range A1 dot copy from record set and enter the, your record set name. Okay, mm -hmm. now after that, RS dot close. I mean, first, CN dot close. CN, uh, RS. RS dot close and CN dot close. And after that, set RS equal to nothing. And set CN equal to nothing.
right and so um so say um if you want to create a table you can create a table like this and yeah we have copy the copy or data on the table one in the in the sql i will correct here in the sql server ipt slash ipt have a one database s data yeah and in the s data have a one table the table underscore one and table underscore have some data so i want to copy this data in table underscore one uh, on that uh, my excel sheet okay so we have write this query and just run run our sql query mm. and you can check here in the c3 our data copied here in okay. the in the sql we have the only for three data in eh? the sample yeah. data. so all three data copy in the our excel sheet okay and if you want to the not you want to the uh, uh, copy there the some data you can use the sql query just like where conditions and everything where where listen mm. any sql query type here and copy your data just like okay. i want to the i want to the uh, send the some data in some data in uh, this table right i want to use the insert query mm. everything will be same but here here it will be changed I write the sql and we have created the dim sql as a string right yeah we have sql I write the here code code is insert query so right in in short into and enter in the bracket enter your fill name and values and after the values also use the bracket for their value just like name is mohan if your value is the use the single code right mohan write the m u z and numbers also and close the bracket okay right and close mm. your inverted comma here right and uh, here not a open as a, a dynamic right and close the your this okay yeah and we have run the code some problem oh, oh we have mistake here some mistake here we have not mentioned the table name oh yeah actually i was about to tell you that when you wrote it but i forgot <laughs> it said into table all the values yes yeah object already already check there see yeah yeah so you can connect the sql and uh, write the any sql query here or you use the your sql oh, okay um say you want to generate a dd statement how do you do that 
Nee, what is related details? And I, 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 like so, uh, say if you want to connect uh, Excel with SQL, and then you want to uh, uh, generate, like say, uh, uh, update into table the X Y Z where this. We have in the SQL. I mean, in the. Hold on. Hello. 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 Yeah. Listen, I haven't reached that field, so I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to reach Macquarie at 7:15. Well, uh, uh, we can watch 8:45 show if you want to. So before that, we be can good. eat in that place, and then we can watch the 8:45 show. I'm not sure that'll be like too late for me. 8:45. Yeah. I have to go to work tomorrow. I also have to go to work tomorrow. 8:30 in the morning. <laughs> Okay, let's see. When you finish, you just take, uh, give me a call. Okay, cool. Okay. So if I free early and if I'm able to come there, let's watch it. Mm. Otherwise, I was thinking that we can eat and then watch the eight forty-five show. Uh, let's see. Uh, just give me a call. Send me a text. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. So in the SQL, any type of the job use the your query, any query, right? So mm -hmm. this query, right? Uh, enter here your uh, VBA programming, mm -hmm. and you can use here. Uh, no, no, no. What I'm saying is like, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, ma'am, ma just, just say, listen to you. With, with yeah. you can connect. You, you can connect the data. You can connect the Excel to SQL. Have some limitations. First, if if you if you want to connect with with Excel to SQL only for the two way. First, yeah. extract the data and send the data. Okay. If you want to extract the data, use the select query. You want to send the data, use the two query, three queries. First. Insert query. You then uh, insert the new data. Update query. Update your uh, any previous records yeah. and delete yeah. query, delete your previous records. Okay. Okay. And if you want to create the, you want to, if you want to create the new tables. And uh, what version of my is it MySQL? What you have? No, uh, SQL. only for SQL. If in MySQL not have, but same uh, same like the connections uh, with the MySQL. I, I have the same the code for the connecting the MySQL. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is SQL Server. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is the connect. This is the connectivity, and uh, I think yeah. today is the <laughs> we discussed the very big topic. So yes. Tomorrow. Uh, Thank you. And uh, next class, we discuss the connectivity with your uh, other applications, just like out, just like MS Word, just like Notepad, just like uh, uh, your PowerPoint. So some okay. uh, small connectivities because uh, yeah. we have and connect connect with the Access MS Access database. So next class, we will discuss the this type of the connectivity. And now we have sent this uh, file. Okay. And uh, for the, your reference, so select here. Uh, let me, let me. File one, file one, I right, like this one. So I, I have sent you mail. So please do the practice because without practice, you can, can't understand because this is the very complicated topic. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so first do the practice. If any doubts, to send the message and next the, uh, ask the next classes. Yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, can I share my screen? Um, sorry, ma'am, not today. My mom is calling for the coming. So I need to the go. Yeah, yeah, just give me five minutes. Okay. Can I share my screen? Mm, yeah, I have stopped. And now I can share the screen. Okay. Okay, so here. You see, this is the database that I use. Uh, yeah, see. But anyway, no, no, my doubt is not with database, don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's with uh, VBA. So, uh, you remember? Oh, hold on, let me close all these things. Um, you remember the other day I asked you something?
I'll I'll send you a copy of this Excel sheet. Yeah, this is like the main main VBA code that I have to work on like day in and day out. So can you please have a look at this VBA code and explain it to me one day? It's like most of the stuff I get it, but from time to time I kind of find it. Uh, hey, the, I think I think as uh, some class ago I have uh, give you the some solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was like, oh my God, what did you tell me? that one uh, yeah you told me exactly what i asked you but but you know what the next day more records came in so whatever was there in that field uh, i'll show you further and that manager he kind of came to me barking like a monkey but i wrote the code anyway for that so it's okay i think so you remember we we hit this columns oh. right right on um, we have deleted the so system. what happened the other day there were more records that came up so these columns went down and i was like hiding those columns and he was like what the hell did you do i'm not able to see the data and then i had to write a, a macro for that like uh, i think i think uh, hey, we have uh, hide the column yeah I, I i remember so the problem is that your data will be affected right yeah then i wrote this macro to dynamically hide it based on the data Yeah, right. And uh, for the hiding your data, uh, I think your data will be uh, data will be affected. Total will be affected, right? Data what? No. Hey, what is the problem? This uh, uh, factor. But anyway, today my doubt is not with that. Uh, like, s s like I I wrote this macro to hide it dynamically. Like because what he wanted was like those three particular rows he wanted to hide. Yeah, not right. not all the time. It's not static. Oh yeah. Uh, what happened? Tell me the problem. But anyway, I leave it. It's today. That's not the one. Uh, so this one, like, so when I run this macro, right? Mm -hmm. Say if if I run this macro here, it it takes a long time to run because yeah, it, uh, my, uh, last time I can also explain it. This is the your addings, and addings need uh, add. Uh, we have not can't change on the addings. Right? No, this one is not that. That was a different macro that uh, the facts had added. This is a different. Macro. This uh, uh, this macro your uh, refresh your uh, data connectivity, right? From the your. No, data. no, that's what I'm saying. That's a different macro. This is a different macro. Okay. That macro was a facts set macro. This is like a normal Excel sheet macro. So what this macro does is like it takes the data from these sheets and it puts into the individual PM sheets. This one. Okay. It puts it into these PM sheets. So it takes the main data from yeah, the main sheet. Yeah, I I I I have remember you send this uh, send me this file and I uh, called the code. I I think I remember. Yeah. So now my my main concern is like so when I takes like a long long time. Uh, yeah. Code. Yeah. See, it opens each and every manager, and I see it here. So uh, there's uh, like I, I there's this one guy he said like so if you uh, disable this this one from running like opening each and every uh, manager sheet and then showing you everything it will run faster. Mm -hmm. I think uh, no way. I think that time not. Uh, I I want to the time for this search because. You you have entered the code uh, the the front end code every time open the file. I have uh, not to take the time for the running macro. Take the time for the opening of file. Right. Yeah. This is not a fold for the macro. Fold on the file. If you if you if you have normally you can open the file. That take the time also. No, that's what like if if you normally like. So what 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 the uh, what my manager said was like the guy who was working on this before me he enabled these uh, buttons to open these files manually and then as uh, to uh, to show that open opening the file and closing the, he enabled the uh, that the thing but then but then if you don't enable it then it runs faster that's what he told me mm. if if it doesn't open this window as and when it does it then it does it faster. Ma'am, in the VB micro programming, no way for the um, running fast your micros. But ha, huh, some code will be reduce your uh, micros. Then uh, maybe your file will be run the faster. 
Mm, no way. Okay, I have research and uh, and then tell to you because now we have no any with any idea. And first, uh, need to the understand the every single line of your code and which code will be unnecessary. We want to the delete because uh, your file. Uh, I think uh, your file take the time for the opening and then micro will be done. Hold on, I'll uh, wait. Uh, this part you see. Mm. application screen yeah so this is where he says like because it is set to true or false screen uh, only then uh, screen updating equal to false right it, 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 this is this is not a weak factor because uh, if you have uh, uh, just that just uh, when they create the micro your screen will be updating and see uh, how can update and work uh, micros then uh, this code will do the uh, every procedure on the back end and don't show on the uh, front of the screen. Yeah, that's what that's what I was talking about. It's like I set it to false, but even then it is still running. It's like uh, this. He said like if I set it to false, it wouldn't it wouldn't open each and everything in the front. It will run everything at the back. Yeah, but uh, time will be time will be taken. Uh, if you have a uh, run will be back end, then also time will take. Yeah, but it will run faster. That's what I heard. Yeah. I don't find it here. Screen update. No. Okay. I, 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 yeah. I, I have see and get back to you. First, it is okay. resource, resource and also ask to my uh, some friend yeah. and get, get back to you. Yeah. Okay. You want this code? We have the code. Yeah. I think the last classes we can send me. Uh, I, did I send it to you yeah. already? Yeah. Do you want to send to last classes? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll send it to you. Uh, if I sent it to you already, it's okay. Okay. I'll check. I'll check if I didn't send it to you. Then I'll send it to you again. Okay. So uh, then the, tomorrow, if you if you want to join the three p.m. also to text me and we can join and go to the next. Yeah. Time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me see what time I finished, and I'll I'll text you. Okay, thank you.